Hello, hello, more dimmers here and welcome to another part of the chess for beginners. Uh, last time I teach you how to uh, make very easy checkmate with the pair of bishops. This time we're gonna checkmate with the bishop and the knight also very easy. I think it's the ultimate way uh, to actually do it step by step. Now, why we need that? Because it almost never happens in the real games. Actually, that's true. It happened maybe once to me and then I struggled. I mean, at the end, I, I did it because I had a lot of time, so that was not the, the, the problem. Uh, but you have to know a little bit, at least the basic, like you can deliver the checkmate only in the corner, the same color of, with the bishop. I mean, this can be forced checkmate. There are other checkmates which can be around that corners. But if you try to push um, to wrong corner, to the dark square in this case, uh, because the bishop is the light square, then uh, you're not gonna do that. You cannot force and, and that is the problem. So how to do that? It also will help you to understand couple of uh, ways how to coordinate the pieces because the bishop and the knight can coordinate really easily uh, and it can be useful in even in the middle game. So without further ado, let's see. First step first we're gonna occupy uh, the center with our pieces so definitely we want to bring the the knight over there the bishop over there and the king over there all three pieces has to stay in the center now how to do that because the, the king is in the center so first the same like we did with the bishops we just you know um, attack these squares uh, maybe the king gonna harass us it doesn't really matter uh, maybe it's gonna go back but finally we can actually bring the king and now all of these squares are controlled so the king has to go away so king e6 now just king can follow and after let's say king d6 we just continue our plan uh, king e6 now bishop d5 let's say with the check uh, and then knight e4 so we just achieve now now i would like to just show you that first thing about coordinating the bishop and the knight which is very important if they stay on the same color they are really powerful because they create the wall so look at this at this bishop the bishop control all of these squares and the knight control all of this square so the wall is really really impressive and the king has to be pushed somewhere so this is the first step we achieve that and now the second step is we have to push the king uh to the edge okay so this can be achieved uh by a couple of ways However, I will show you uh, how to do that without, you know, making some interference to, to the future action, what we're gonna do. So the king, the opposite king, want to stay as close to the center, don't want to go to the any corners. Maybe in some cases would like to go to their, this corner or not the corner we want to checkmate, obviously. Uh, but if the king want to go there, uh, I'm gonna show you the ultimate pattern how to just you know uh, solve all the problems so first uh, of course we have something like king e7 and now of course we could bring the bishop to e6 because this is another pattern where the bishop and the king uh, really control all of the squares around and we would push the king somewhere there the problem is we don't really want the bishop to stay on the sixth rank or the knight because the sixth rank in this case it's the sixth rank it's for the king the king is going to help uh, to push this king uh, to the corner to the a8 corner okay and the bishop and the knight would interfere with that so that's what we would like to avoid if, if we want to keep the thing simple it's not the bad move it's uh, it's possible to to play that and and still you know checkmate uh but i'm gonna show you them the easier way instead of that i would like you to play something like knight c5 look at this the knight controls d7 the bishop controls this square so the king is forced to go to the edge so uh, let's say king f8 the king want to go probably to the uh, to the corner if not i will also show you at the end of the video uh, what to do we have king f6 and now the king even cannot get there uh but 
but I will show you what will happen if the king get there, okay? And this actually, in this position, is the easiest way to um, to remember, is that la after king e8, this is the only move, we move the bishop actually to this uh, central square. Now, what we want to do is control h7, just to prevent the king uh, to escaping this way, okay? Which is very important. Now, the king has two ways to go. First is this way, and the second is this way, and I will show you both both of the ways. So of course, if the the opponent, our opponent, knows that he can be checkmated on the on the light square, he would like to go to the opposite corner. So what would happen? King f8, uh, and now what we want to do is bring the knight to f7 to control the corner and the bishop is also controlling h7 so all of this not gonna be possible so uh in this case we're gonna play uh, knight e6 with check but it doesn't really matter and after knight g5 the king gets to uh, h8 and saying hey you cannot do anything uh but actually after knight f7 as you already see there is only one move and now the knight stays here uh, and the bishop stays on this diagonal. So the bishop, we're gonna make a waiting move, couple of waiting moves uh, with the bishop and the king has only one square. All, both, all of these squares, of course, are controlled by the white pieces. So king f8. And now we, this is what we're gonna do. Bishop h7 controlling g8. So king e8. And now this is the time for another step. W pattern. This is quite famous. This is the ultimate pattern to deliver the checkmate so just remember that uh, the knight has to be on the square which is controlling the the h8 and also uh it's gonna happen yeah on this pattern w pattern this is why it's called w pattern so knight e5 controlling this square now the king of course can go this way or this way uh so i will show you both of the ways if the king goes here we just deliver the check the knight gonna be attacked and now we just support the knight and now keep in mind that f8 is controlled by the knight so what a beautiful coordination there is only one move king d8 we continue with the, with the king it still controls all all of the squares and if the king want to go and escape this way we just bring the bishop bang that's all the knight controls this so we have exactly the same idea what happened in the in the corner so now king d8 and now we continue our uh, pattern so knight c5 and again there is only one move king c5 now we're gonna make a waiting move this is important so uh do any moves here with the bishop and after the bishop go back we again deliver the check uh the the king is chasing the knight there is the only one way actually for the king to move as the bishop is still controlling e8 uh so king c6 and now uh, again there is only one move king b6 king c8 and we just rinse and repeat so as you already see this knight with the help of the of the king on the sixth rank uh just did all the job here king b8 is the only move and now we just deliver the checkmate so this is the the last part there are a couple of ways you can actually set up you know the position uh in your favorite program or website uh, and try to do it which is uh, comfortable for you what i do is i bring the knight uh, here but not immediately we have to make a one waiting move otherwise we're gonna have the stalemate knight c5 and now we're not gonna bring the knight to a6 but first make the waiting move and after king b8 uh of course this is going to be the checkmate so this is how it works and now uh the thing is i i wanted you to know also if on any moment this king tries to get to this corner uh, it's not possible because you're gonna get to the w pattern but the later stage so there is no way for black to actually escape. It looks like very dangerous because now this king is going to escape. But this is why the bishop here is quite an important piece here. Why? Because after king e6, 
uh, King C7, the knight is jumping to D7, still uh, going back in the W pattern, um, but of course, uh, in this case, we didn't have the full W pattern from there, uh, so we have to start somewhere from here, okay? And now, as you already see, the knight also controls B6. So this is ultimate, you know, W pattern, uh, which control all of these squares. Everything here is controlled by the white pieces, and the king has not many squares here. King d8, uh, king d6, and we continue w pattern, I hope you already remember, uh, and there is no way that black can, uh, you know, escape. Knight c5 now, uh, king c8, of course, waiting move, uh, and after king d8, we deliver the check, uh, and now we are gonna have exactly the same, uh, you know, pattern, uh, and at the end, we are gonna do exactly the same, waiting move, and we're gonna deliver the checkmate. So it looks pretty easy, uh, but there are sometimes the situations where you can screw up the position of your bishop, and and this is really painful. So for example, uh, let's say you forgot uh, that you it's better to stay with the bishop here to control this square, to control, you know, this diagonal. Uh, but if you remember, you are fine, you already can, you know, finish this video. But if you screw up on some stage and the bishop is somewhere else, uh, you still don't need to worry. And now I will show you another very beautiful idea here, because after king d8, it looks like the king can escape here. The same move, we play king e6, the, the king starts to escape, and it seems like, wow, the king gonna escape, we cannot cover everything, the king gonna escape this way or this way, uh, how to cover all of that again? We're gonna do ultimate um, W pattern, we're going back with the uh, knight to d7, we cover these two squares, but you would say, hey, the king gonna escape now, and what now? And this is the moment where you play with the bishop, and you simply cover this square, and this square, and this square, you see, everything is covered. And now the, the, the king has to do something and it doesn't really matter if it goes closer uh, to the corner, it's easier for us or is going to, the, to here, uh, king c7. Still, now we're gonna go with the bishop d5, control all of these squares and now we are going to the, our favorite uh, pattern. So king d8, uh, king d6, king e8 and of course uh, we're gonna have waiting move, bishop c4, st still keeping an eye on the f7 king d8 and now we are locking uh, the position of the king so everything now w pattern and the king gonna go there and then we everything know if the king want to be annoying and try to escape this way uh if you are not careful you know it can escape uh but you don't worry you just you have the king in the corner already and it's nothing can be done here. If the king goes to c8, we continue our pattern, but if, if the king wants to be annoying, we are in the last stage, so uh, it doesn't really matter, because now we're gonna do exactly the same, just the knight gonna be here on the, on the c8, okay? Uh, and keep in mind that this square is controlled by the knight. So there is completely no risk, no problem that the king can escape. King a8 and now bishop c4, of course, controlling this square first. And after king a7, everything is forced. We want to bring the, the knight over there. How to do that? Uh, let's say knight d7. Uh, then now comes with the check. We don't even need to make the waiting moves. So it's even easier for us uh, to avoid the stalemate. And at the end, we have the checkmate. So w pattern is the ultimate pattern and in every stage, stage of, um, of the checkmating, uh, we can get into that, we can jump into that. If not, that means you do something wrong and you should practice. So open, for example, liches.org and set up the analysis, the board and, and try to, you know, play against Stockfish on level 8, on the top level uh, and just, you know, deliver a couple of checkmates. And also what I can, I, I can recommend if you play the longer uh, time control game and you're opponent doesn't want to uh, give up, you can actually set up this position uh, where you have only the knight and the bishop and you can actually train that just to remember from time to time, because definitely uh, after you try this, you know, a couple of times, you will remember the pattern, but maybe in one year, uh, maybe you can forget. But what you have to remember is uh, you can deliver the checkmate in the same 
color of the of the bishop square that is the first thing and just try to remember there is something like the bishop pattern uh, to drag the king from the wrong corner to the right corner and that's all and probably you're gonna figure out if you have time um, to deliver the checkmate so if you like this video if you think it's useful press like if for some reason you don't like it press unlike and if you don't want to miss other videos on my channel press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one